What's going on everybody? This is Techricity here and today I'm back with another awesome video um, which is going to be a tutorial of something really useful or something really cool to show off to your friends. Now I'm sure a lot of you have iPads, iPad minis or iPod touches and you love to use GPRS data connection or um, make phone calls with it. Well, with this tutorial, you can. Yes, you can make your device into a phone. And no, this is not using any hardware, uh, like putting a SIM card into it or anything. This is all via software, so it's really easy, and you should not run into any errors. Um, well, one prerequisite is that you have to be jailbroken. If you aren't already, just do it. It makes your life a lot easier. I will have a jailbreak tutorial that I made a while back in the description below, so please click on that if you're not already jailbroken. And another thing you need is an old phone. Any old phone will do. I'm sure a lot of us have uh, some of these in our houses. Um, so any phone with Bluetooth should suffice for this tutorial. So once you have all that, um, without further ado, let's uh, go straight into the tutorial. Now, for the purpose of this video, I will be demonstrating it on an iPod Touch 5th generation purely because it was what, of, what was available to me and also because it's best suited for this tutorial. Now, as I mentioned before, you need to be jailbroken. So once you do that, go into your home screen and open up the Cydia application. I'm going to cancel this, but you let it happen. Now, once that's done, go into the search bar. And so you have to search for what I already have typed in, which is the Connect application. That is K-O-N-E-C-T. It is free and available on the Big Boss repo, so you don't have to add any repositories. Now, once you find it, go ahead and select it. It is by the developer Ken, which is an awesome and talented developer. Now, if you go down, you'll find the description where basically it explains that Connect is a Bluetooth-enabled app that turns your iPhone into a dual SIM or allows you to make uh, calls from your iPod Touch or iPad, which is really neat. Um, so once you read that, go ahead and install it as I do in the video right now by pressing install and pressing confirm. Again, it is a free application, so you don't need to purchase anything. Now, it is a relatively small file and will take very less time to download. Once it has been installed, go ahead and uh, restart your device. Now that it's uh, restarted, go ahead and look for the Connect application, which should be installed right now with this unique logo. Now would be a good time to bring out your old cell phone. For this video, I'll be using a Samsung T369 sl slider phone, which has served me well in the past, and it has Bluetooth, so... I can use any Bluetooth phone will suffice as I mentioned earlier, so I'm going to be using this one. Now, go ahead into your iPod or iPad and you're going to have to turn this switch on in the more section of the Connect application. Now, it is very stubborn. It keeps turning off and on, but once you do it about three times, it stays on and that's really good. As you can see, it switched off again for me. Let me just turn it on. All right, and once you're confident that the switch will remain on, go ahead and bring out your old phone and navigate to the settings of the old phone. Go ahead um, to the Bluetooth section, turn it on, and then search for um, devices. As you can see, connect immediately pops up and go ahead and pair and connect with uh, connect. And then you will see that the red light in the Connect application turns green, um, indicating that you are good to go um, and make calls. Now let me take this time out to explain some of uh, the settings inside the Connect application. Now as you can see, there is a settings tab, which I'll leave you guys to explore on your own. Also there is a Bluetooth tethering switch. Um, so if your phone supports Bluetooth Pan, um, your phone, your iPod or iPad can, can get 3G or um, GPRS data by simply turning on that switch. Now the application is free, but you have to pay to activate some of the features um, in Connect. Now, I know a lot of you are going to get turned off by this, but if you think about it, it's actually a great deal. You're turning your device into a smart, into a practically a smartphone for just a couple of dollars. So I highly encourage everyone to pay for it as I did in this video. Now, you will see that after you've paired your phone, you will get some symbols on your status bar indicating the network status and the battery life of the second phone, which is really useful. So now, um, using the iPod Touch and my old phone, which I have paired via the Connect application in Bluetooth, 
I am going to be making a call to another cell phone. This is the LG Nexus 4 um, uh, with a regular SIM card inside of it. So I'm going to be making a, uh, a normal phone call through my iPod to the LG Nexus 4. So as you can see, you can just go in there and press call. And yes, this Connect application does borrow a couple of design elements from the popular um, calling application Viber, but um, it does work and that's all that matters. So as you can see right now on the screen, uh, the phone call is going to the Nexus 4, so it is working. The phone is being, the phone call is being received on the Nexus 4, being made using an iPod, whoops. Um, and the phone call is actually being sent through um, an old cell phone. So this is what's going on right now um, um, to give you a clear idea. Now also, uh, let me just show you what the Bluetooth pan feature is supposed to look like in your phone. It looks something like this. Um, it'll basically give you a description that you need to um, turn this setting or this feature on in your old phone to share your device's internet with other Bluetooth enabled devices. So if you have this, you will get GPRS. So all right, guys, that was Connect. Thank you for watching this video. Um, I really appreciate the support you guys are giving me. I've recently reached 4,000 subscribers, so that's great. Now, if you enjoyed converting your device into a phone, um, I really appreciate it if you would give this video a thumbs up. Uh, it really helps the video out. Also, comment down below. I'll try to reply to as many as I can. And above all, subscribe. Subscriptions are what keeps me going, and it really motivates me to make, motivates me to make new videos. Peace out, guys.